Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be looking at setting up your Power BI reports to allow yourself or people that use your report to personalize their own visuals. So we can see here, we've got this visual here that's been published up to the Power BI service. And there's this button here that allows the person that's looking at this visual to change the visualization type the X and Y axis, the legend, add small multiples if it's available, and even add tooltips. So I'll be talking you through how to set this up and some hints and tips on when you might use it and some good practices. Okay, so let's get started. So I'm back in the Power BI desktop file here and I need to switch on the visualization personalize, a personalized visuals option within the Power BI desktop and then publish it up to the Power BI service. So to do that, I'm going to go to Files, Options and Settings, and I'm going to go to Options, and then I'm going to go to Current File Report Settings. And there's an option here to personalize visuals. Okay, so I'm going to click that on there. Now you will need to restart the actual Power BI file for it to take effect. Okay, now once you've done that, the next thing you need to do is go back into the, the, the settings here. And we need to, for each of these, we need to go and turn on the icons. So if we go to header icons, icons, we just need to make sure, now these are already switched on, that this option here is switched on. Okay, so we can see it's available there. If I switch that off, it's going to disappear. Okay, so this needs to be switched on for each of the visualizations that you want to be personalizable in the Power BI service. Okay, so I've done that for each one of these visuals. I'm just going to publish this up to the Power BI service now. Okay, so I'm in a Power BI service and we can see here we've got these options here to personalize this visual. So let's go and actually personalize this one here. So first thing we can do is we can change the type of visualization. Now it's only the, the, the built-in Power BI visualizations that you can actually use here. You can't use any of the custom visualizations. So let's go and change this to a start bar chart. And we can see that's changed into a stacked bar chart. So let's then go and rather than use work type or leave it at work, yeah, let's change this to priority. So we can see it's changed to priority. And then we can change what it is we're actually looking at. So percentage of work orders, well, let's just say we want to actually go and look at hours. So we're going to look at work order planned hours. And we can see that's changed. Uh, we might want to add a legend. So let's look at this by work type. Okay, so we can see there's a fair amount of configuration that you can do there just to personalize a visualization for the specific needs of the end user. So this is ideal if you've got somebody who doesn't want to and isn't interested in becoming an expert in Power BI, doesn't want to publish their own reports or create their own reports. However, does want to have a certain degree of flexibility around how the actual data is presented in the actual report itself. Okay, so now you've actually personalized your visual. If you were to refresh this, so let me just refresh this, we can see that it has disappeared. Okay, so we need to go back in every single time and select the, the new layout, which is going to be a, bit, a little bit laborious. So let's go and change this back to what we had before. Okay, so it's back to what it was before. So if you want to actually make sure that this is the same the next time you log in and the next time you look at this report what you can do is set this as a personal bookmark here so press this button here and then you add a personal bookmark and we'll just call it something okay and we'll save that there so the next time we re refresh this report here we can go into our personal bookmarks select that bookmark and it's going to update this information here okay so that's great now the other thing you can do is you can actually set this as your default so if you open this back up again right click on here and you can make default and that means that if you come into this report again it's defaulting to this bookmark and we can see that it's got that information there um, and, and the, the visualization has actually been displayed how you want it to be displayed and there's no need to go and select your bookmark so the next thing i want to talk about is the description here okay so if we can see this work order planned hours by work order priority and work type, the description has updated based on the 
values that I've actually selected to display on this actual visualization. So let's just see that in action again. So if I go into this and for example, I get rid of or change that description there to be department. Okay, we can see that's now by department and the description has been updated to reflect that new field that we've added, that new category value that we've added in here. Now, the next thing is this one here. Now, I've done a similar thing with this, but what I've done with this one here is I've actually intervened in the Power BI Desktop and I've changed the description. So I'm back in Power BI Desktop just to show you what I mean. And within the title here, and I've actually added in a percentage there rather than accepting the, the value, which was automatically generated here with this PCT. Okay, so that description there is automatically generated based on these values here that you add into the visualization or the descriptions that you've got in here. So if you actually go and change this title here to be something custom that you just type in, then you're not going to see that information there. It's not going to update, it's going to leave it as it is. So just bear that in mind if you are producing a report and publishing a report and you do have an expectation that somebody's going to play about with these values here and, um, and personalize them to meet their needs. Okay, so finally, there is a reset button. So if you are in this visualization and you want to press this reset button here, then that is going to return it to its base value that, or its base configuration or display, which was originally selected in the PBIX file, the Power BI report, and published up to the Power BI service. So you've always got that ability to return it to its default values or default look. Okay, so hopefully you found something useful in this video. It's a really easy bit of functionality to set up and particularly useful in the cases where you want to explore the data or allow the consumer of the report to explore the data, but you don't necessarily want them or they don't need to be or want to be experts in creating their own reports. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to you in the next video.